I'm going to talk about Stevia, the one I use currently, the one I ended up with switching to to try out, and one that I was going to switch to and recommend against. I'm running low on my Trubia and I wanted to try something else. So I want to talk about why I want to try something different, what I ended up with, and one that really surprised me and I'm super disappointed about. So the Trivia has erythritol in it, which I don't have a big problem with. I just wanted to try something else. I ended up getting this one, Stevia leaf extract, citric acid, sodium benzenate, and potassium sorbate. The last two are both preservatives. So I looked them up. They don't seem to be too harmful. It doesn't bother me too much. I have not tried it yet, so I have no idea if I even like it. The one that really surprised me is the Stevia in the Raw. Last weekend, I was in Vegas for a conference, and, you know, I felt like having some coffee. And I had this a couple days in a row, and I went down to the Starbucks, and I got their light brew. Light brewed coffee is very strong. You know, so I wanted to sweeten it a little bit. So I got heavy cream in it and stevia in the raw because that's what they offered. I've never tried it before and I thought it tasted pretty good on a few cups of coffee I had. I went down to the grocery store with the intent in buying stevia in the raw. The sugar alternatives are literally to control your blood glucose, stuff that doesn't have a glycemic impact and hopefully not an insulin impact as well. Here's the part that totally discouraged me it's the maltodextrin and let me tell you why i didn't buy this one i'm wanting stevia and maltodextrin is the first ingredient which means there's more maltodextrin in this than there is stevia two shame on stevia in the raw i mean the name by itself sounds like it's pure stevia right and lastly maltodextrin the glycemic index of 95 to 136 so you're diabetic or trying to lower your blood sugar and you go out and get something that's supposed to not affect it and you end up with maltodextrin which has 136 it's going to spike your insulin you can't burn fat it's horrible for diabetics shame on them